Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a um, little series that I'm starting up so that we can understand a little more on something that is uh, very mysterious for most users. Uh, at some point you get in contact with the registry because some little hack to change a setting or fix something happened and people sometimes go to the registry not really knowing exactly what is the registry. So. We will have a small series where we're going to examine the registry and its different uh, settings. Of course, not an extensive look, but um, you know, a, a global overlook so you'll understand a little better uh, what the registry is. So since Windows 95, so this uh, registry thing is old, it started with Windows 95. Before that, there were no registry. Uh, Windows 3.11, for those that use that, did not have a centralized uh, system, registry system, uh, if I remember well. So since Windows 95, the Windows operating system has been using a centralized um, basically system that is kind of a centralized database to store system settings, hardware configurations, user perf preferences, software also makes changes here so that it can actually work better with the different system resources so um, that database, well, it's the Windows registry. And uh, basically, when new hardware is installed in the computer, when new software, if you make changes, even changes like in the settings and the desktop background, well, it tweaks and changes things within the registry because that's where everything is centralized. So the registry is a little bit like the backbone of Windows. It is how Windows has been constructed, it is also source of Windows problems. And um, also, it's kind of, you know, a lot of people have been saying with the years, well, we should maybe remove the registry. Problem is Windows was built upon a registry. If you do a new version of Windows with no registry, absolutely nothing that we actually use right now would work in that new version of Windows we would have to start from scratch with every, every software, hardware, everything because of the new system. So the Windows registry, and for those that want to go there, is available by simply typing in the Cortana search or whatever version of Windows you are, you simply go here and say regedit, regedit. And you can run regedit command if you want. And basically, it will give you access to the five big classes of the uh, registry. And you see it on the left side here. And we'll take a look at each class in a separate video. First one is each key classes root. Second one is H key current user. Second is third, third sorry, H key local machine. H key users is fourth. And H key current config is fifth. And there are differences in each of these five key um, centralized points in the registry, basically. So in the next few videos, we will take a look at the registry. Uh, we'll try to have a down-to-earth explanation of what it is and what, uh, where to find certain types of uh, information on the registry. And also um, a few tips and tricks on how to find different things in the registry. Maybe that can help you sometimes in different types of uh, problems you might have. So we'll be taking a look at that and I hope that you enjoy our series on the registry. So for now, first video, just remember that the registry is basically a database of all the settings and changes and everything that has to do with Windows is stored in this centralized place called the registry. And of course, if you want to learn more, more videos are coming up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully you enjoy our series on the registry.